Yo, what's up guys? It's John back again with my injury status report. It's been now 10 days since my 100k run and I'm still not able to run pain-free. Although I'm already running, the longest run by now was 45 minutes, 8 kilometers. Very good pace, but the problem is that after analyzing the race and the reason for what has led up to that pain and the injury i've come to the conclusion that is simply the zoom vaporfly well the zoom vaporfly is a perfect shoe especially for the marathon and most probably also for the ultra marathons as we've seen from the 24-hour race at the world championships where the woman ran the 260 something kilometers and the next percent but in my case, it's not. In my case, the Vaporfly is only good up to the marathon distance. The reason for this being very simple, it is that my left foot, this one, has a slight pronation to the left, to the right, right? So this Vaporfly here has a very high stack and a very soft foam, which allows the foot to pronate even more to the inside. And that very position has led to the fact that from 20 to 100 kilometers I was hurting very bad simply because the sinew which is leading up into the calves and into the other uh, sections of the foot is stretched, stretched by pronating to the inside and it is overstretched over such a long running period which leads to inflammation of that sinew and which leads to serious problems because the physiotherapist is not able to cure that right away by means of friction as if it was in case of uh, of tissue congestion whatever they have the special terms to call that they just can be loosen up the muscles in the tissue but in this case it's not that simple the other problem which I am assuming is that the abductor hallucis, which is located in the midfoot section, which was, was very big, very inflammated for many days, is simply that the carbon fiber plate, which in fact uh, serves as a propulsion and as an energy saver over the long term after such hard long distances starts to stress the foot not 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 also the not even not only the ball of the foot as it is in the case of a marathon after 20 30 kilometers but also the midfoot because now on the contrary of a pronation stabilization which is uh disabling your muscle work here it's overstressing your muscle work so it is similar to running on asphalt because a carbon fiber plate cannot be bent that hard when you're losing strength and in that case you can no longer uh, induce that energy return and you are smashing right up on that plate as if you were running on the asphalt on the ground with bare feet and that hurts and that is stressing not only the abductor losses but also as I said the sinew with a strong pronation to the right on the left foot so that together led to my injury so when I'm running the right curves I'm feeling very well but as soon as I'm running left curves I, ha I almost have to stop even though my average pace right now is very satisfying around 530 minutes per K but I am still have I still have to be very cautious not to overstress anything just keeping those easy recovery runs and allow that sinew to heal so now my son is calling for me I gotta finish this up as soon as, soon as I'm okay I'm gonna start my midnight runs once a month a midnight run because the starting time of the hideous Atlas from Platea to Delphi starts at 0 a.m. So see you guys, you're done marathon.